Dog right here, right away. Winners finals, Jen versus D Dog. Okay, so um, I know Jen hates this matchup, and it's not fun for Palu. I gotta say, uh, there's a few things that Steve has against her that are really, really uh, obnoxious for her to deal with. And most important one is that she can't really recover properly. She doesn't have a hitbox in her teleport, you know. So uh, if you put a block over the ledge, she can't hit the ledge. Interesting. Yeah, at all. So. That's going to be something that Jen's going to have to deal with during this set. But uh, it looks like he's established a pretty solid lead already with 80% without getting touched. So and there's the jump read again. But Steve just... Oh, oh I was going to say Steve a little too uh, heavy for that, but just gets another one. And, and this right here is like mm -hmm. where Steve doesn't look like the best character in the game. It's when he has a deficit yeah. and can't play mm -hmm. his, his game plan. It's like... All of a sudden, you're the character with the worst jump in the game that's like really slow and yeah. kind of clunky. Mm -hmm. And against like really, you know, Palutena, especially with such good ability to like stuff the pool out with that pivot grab and mm -hmm. like back air, it, it looks so much rougher. Like you need basically, for D Dog at this point, you need big strings to like yeah. swing momentum. Now Palu can play the keep away game much better because she doesn't have to worry about uh, like trying to get in at all. Uh oh. Yeah. Too big of a commitment there. Uh, and wow, Jen's playing so hot from that last set still, I think. Well, that little matchup clean. tech, yeah, with the down smash on the blocks. Very smart. I feel like Jen's playing angry. Like, it, it, yeah, it's like, clear he hates he Steve awesome. in this gameplay. <laughs> There's some spite in this gameplay right now. But, and it's like, yeah, it really, what does D Dog do right here? Because mm -hmm. you, you can't sit around and mine. You have such a huge deficit. I just want to bring it's attention just combos. to just like how well Alan's uh, spacing around Steve's out of shield options right now. Uh, just drifting away and like leaving himself a bit more space than usually would because they're like kind of big, you know? Like there's like a sword or a pickaxe or something. Ooh, I'm I wasn't sure surprised. if that was going to hit because I don't know that match that's matchup like to that extent. But uh, oh, there's a down air. <laughs> yeah, and. Uh oh, wait. This, this needs this to be. This could big. be dangerous. Yeah. Oh, misses the forward air. That could have been such a crazy reversal. Uh, Bringing it back to last stock. Yeah. It, oh the no. Thing is, if D Dog does bring this to last stock, then it's like then a bit of a mental again. damage on uh, on Jen because it's like Steve can't kill you at any yeah. moment, you know. So it, the security of having two stocks is really huge right here for yeah. Jen closing this out. I want to point out once again though that D Dog doesn't have iron anymore. He can't be throwing minecarts to Jen. Uh, well, he got one. He got one. Yeah, it. but he immediately threw it. Uh, I feel like. It's kind of important to hold on to some of them because you want to recover, Ooh. but then just gets blasted through the wall. And I think that's because the middle block wasn't there. The middle block there. wasn't yeah. there, yeah. That's uh, interesting. Usually it does not work. It just it gets uh, stuck on the wall, but uh, it just seems to like slip through the crack there. Yeah, you can see. <laughs> wow, that's so in this matchup, your wall's got to be super on point then. Mm -hmm. cause it, well, sometimes that the middle block being there doesn't change too much, you know, but. Yeah, against right Palo, I think it would matter a lot more, though. Yeah. And just this upper call out was crazy. Yeah, no fear of like a down air or something at that percent, which yeah. would have certainly killed Palu. I, I think I think it and was just, yeah, going okay. so high up that really made Jen confident that there wasn't going to be a down air because you know D Dog just was recovering from the first mm -hmm. up air hit, and I feel like for him to do down air right there would be like hard reading this crazy aggression. Yeah. I wouldn't say down air was a big commitment from Steve though. I'm yeah, that real. is true. Yeah. Uh-oh, uh-oh, here they come, the jabs, oh no. And that's oh. what I was talking about before, Palu can really just do nothing about that. Like, she might have been able to go straight up, but I'm not even sure if she could have drifted if she went straight up. Yeah, no, that's that's really rough, and I mean, the jab, like, even if Palutena won't die to the spike, yeah. it kind of puts you in a spot where it's like, what do you do? Mm -hmm. And this is the first lead for D-Dog, so we can kind of see yeah, the game now, plan he's way more used to. Mm -hmm. Now he can play to his strengths entirely as a player, and that's not hitting. <laughs> yeah, that's Steve can just <laughs> exist off stage for as long as he wants, as long as he has the resources. The parries in the back here looking very nice. Oh, oh my god, what just happened there? I think uh, Jen went for an up smash. Yeah, he like, went for the up smash, and then he like went on top of the anvil oh. and then got hit by it. But uh, and that angle is so just crazy. Just a little bit off. Yeah.
And we'll say, I mean, I don't know, did we even see a diamond last game from uh, D Dog? It, it seemed I don't like. I think so, yeah. Yeah, Jen's ability to deny like resource management has been so huge. Mm -hmm. I... Oh, nice. Oh, stop that minecart right in the track saying no. <laughs> That's actually so big because that means like you can pre safely auto oh. if it starts if it stops. <laughs> we have the court. unstoppable object versus the uh, immovable force. Yeah, for <laughs> yeah, real. back here versus my cart. <laughs> oh, oh, there's there. a diamond. Yeah. Oh man, and this is where D Dog thrives. That's the first time he got a big up tilt combo at zero. And now you're at 80 percent with just the uh, just the just, just, just a touch, yeah. Like and this became really bad really quickly. Oh, again with the parry on the back here. D Dog's been very consistent in hitting those. There's the up smash on the ledge. I like Alan's uh, yeah. recent. Uh, He's been doing more smash attacks to catch ledge options. I just feel like it's a, it's a good thing for Pala to be doing. Ooh, right there, D Dog tried to get the diver to like barely yeah, didn't okay, touch it. Push him away. Oh. Down throw. Okay. Yeah. No back air at this percent. Oh no. Oh, nice. Oh no. Are we gonna see a gen stock right now? Oh, that was so clean. He's just playing so well suddenly. Oh, that was so huge. Yeah. <laughs> Now the diamond He's kind of feeling there. himself with the ledge trump, but uh, D Dog uh, buffering an option a little too quickly. Teching the wall, yeah. If you're a C player, you kind of know you kind of need to tech three walls, you know? You yeah, made you, them. you put it there. Yeah. yeah. D Dog is just throwing minecarts game ceiling after gain iron, which I feel like is making it so predictable for. Yeah, Jen. it feels very obvious, but at the same time, like, sometimes it guys, it just doesn't yeah. matter. Yeah. No, I think Jen right there. D Dog, I feel like slightly, slightly delayed it, and so we saw mm -hmm. a side B from Jen who thought just it was that little tiny mix happen. up yeah. made Jen think that he was safe, and then uh, see, yeah, right, he saw the iron, is. he instantly yeah. side B, but he waited and moved out of the way first. So <laughs> smart thinking from Jen, but even smarter thinking from D Dog himself. Mm -hmm. And I mean, the thing is like. That match started out so fortunately for D Dog. And yeah, it was still like, this so was just close. crazy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, I don't think she could have done anything, actually. So, he basically started that match with a stock lead. Like, just a zero death. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so, how, how can he play consistently throughout to where he doesn't need that stock lead? Okay. And the raw Nair bringing Steve back to the platform, letting him get all this extra damage that you wouldn't be getting if you just did a forward facing Nair. Really important. And I feel like D Dog has to just switch his game plan like entirely at this point because he's not able to build a block like once with how uh, oh, wow. Jen is pressuring him. So I feel like he needs to play oh, no. way more combo oh, no. focused. Oh no! Okay, oh, going high there. Yeah, that was a really good get around cover. it. But yeah, I feel like he needs to play way more focusing on just like up tilt strings. Like even if he has wood, like it'd be way more beneficial to like apply physical pressure than rather than let Jen set the pace. Alan has thrown a lot of these Ooh. F smashes out. Good catch with the down tilt. Very active hitbox. Catches neutral get up easily. Yeah. It, it's it's important to know when you can actually jump in on Steve. Like right now, this is not a good spot uh, to do it. You will get up tilted or up smashed. Mm. Again, yeah, these, these minecarts are coming out a little too uh, a little too much, I think. Yeah, I feel like Jen's really good at exploiting these weaknesses right here because he's kind of just floating at a distance where like he can react to the burst, to the minecart burst because it's not gold, you know. Mm -hmm. And so because of that, he's just draining these resources. Yeah. Oh, wow. You need redstone and gold to do the mine yeah. uh, the powered minecart, and just D Dog has not had an opportunity to get, really get those resources. And just like you can see how like th this pressure, like this. Lack of resources D Dog's had has made it so that he can't really uh, find his footing in his third match, but finds an up smash. Yeah, to take and his stock. it's important that the pressure the pressure is not like Jen rushing him down. You know, it's not like he's like mashing on his shield. No, yeah. He's staying at a range where he can react to what D Dog does, mm -hmm. but also react to, um, but also be able to quickly go in if D Dog starts mining. Yeah, you know? so making Steve really uncomfortable. Yeah, it, it basically, basically makes yeah it, it exploits Steve's lack of speed and movement. 
really well. These explosive flames have been catching DDoc so many times. Uh, he keeps going for that instant up B there in the corner, but it's just not... Yeah, again, he almost found his mark again, but uh, minecarting the safety this time. Good catch at the forward air. The diamond makes this definitely doable for DDoc. <laughs> Yeah, that, you were never like you're never out of the woods yet against Steve, uh, as long as he's still on the screen. Oh, then there's the middle block interrupting the explosive flame. Yeah, just cannot do it. Oh, going for oh. an air up tilt, but didn't get didn't hit confirm it. Uh, yeah, it just buffered the, yeah. the combo. Uh -oh. Full confidence, but. Oh. <gasps> That flame, yeah, you gotta remember that it gets bigger at the very end. Yeah, I don't think D Dog was ready for that at all. Uh, good yeah. stuff. Yeah. The uh, D Dog jumped right above it, like. Mm -hmm. Totally got. Like, we can slow this down. Look how close. Yeah, oh, wow. it just expanded for the final hitbox and hit him. Yeah. Oh, and look at Steve. Steve does like a split when he jumps. Yeah, his hurtbox isn't particularly great when he does that. I think. Uh, especially since he's always upright, you know. Yeah. He'll never get like the cloud privilege of doing a backflip when you show him how he's, he's always just a block. Like either vertical or sideways yeah. all the time. So, yeah. I think yeah, I mean I feel like, you know, Jen he said uh, he hated the matchup, so I was kinda worried about how good he'd be at it, but clearly mm -hmm. hate has fueled him in the right direction. Uh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> good stuff, good stuff. Um it looks like next we're gonna have Mojo and Vivi. Yes, Ooh. Mojo Game Slayer, the Greninja who... Pokemon battle. <laughs> yeah, Greninja, Lucario, I assume, unless Vivi's going hero, but I feel like I feel like you go Lucario, honestly. Um, yeah, I feel like uh, Vivi would have a bit of familiarity with this matchup, too. So, uh, yeah, I think we can see a Lucario here. And I feel like Greninja kind of does really good versus hero. I feel like he, mm -hmm. he, he, you know, almost similar to Steve, Greninja has the burst range to kind of prevent Hero from setting up his stuff and yeah. Hero, Hero and I also